What's up everybody, it's your coach. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, please take this time right now. Subscribe to the most positive channel on YouTube. Please leave a comment, whatever it is. Good, bad, I don't think it's personal. I love for everybody. Leave it below, this is for you guys. This is, I say this always, this is for players, parents, to help. You guys are the ones that matter, not me, not somebody I played 50 years ago. It's you guys that I care about, that I want to help, because it's your time, and we only have a short window to play these amazing sports, like baseball. So we got to act fast and get the right mindset and the right equipment to make stuff happen. With that said, today's video, finally, the most anticipated glove, sold out super quick. They got more, sold out super quick again, the Rev 1X, I love it. It is the best, in my opinion. Hope they come out with a first base one soon because that's what I rock. Guys, video's here. I grabbed the best to ever do it, my man Nick. We got the band together. We got the video on how to break in the Rev 1X glove. Here it is, coming up. Please get a mallet. A lot of people ask me, coach, why don't I, if I don't have a mallet, what should I use? Or a dumbbell, yeah, you can. Get a mallet, it's 20 bucks. Can do it it's available rawlings.com get a mallet it's gonna help you out big time remember watch what nick says here in the beginning the one day stuff some people might take a longer but this is how we did it for younger kids to be able to use these professional gloves which mean the leather is top quality a little harder to break in to get it that quick but it works it's the number one glove breaking in system in the internet it's this video right here. It's this family right here. It's you guys. It's your coach. Without further delay, the video how to break in the Rawlings Rev 1X glove. Hands everywhere. Let's go. <laughs> dying to see this glove in, in, in person because I've heard so much about it and uh, I'm dying to see it in person. This is so cool. I mean, I don't even know what to do with it. Like, like it's it's so cool. I've never seen anything like this. So, a couple facts: no more laces. See, there's no laces sticking out yeah, anymore. Yeah. They eliminated that. Hard of the hide. So all Rev One Xs are all hard of the hide. Okay. Now the customizing of the names. You see where it says in the on the out on the out inside of the glove. Yeah. Right there. So now they're putting it right here so okay. it's almost like futuristic they'll put your name okay so right so here. so that that's my first impression is like this is not from from planet earth <laughs> this is this is uh too cool but you know at first you see it and like i'm an old school baseball guy you know i'm die hard you know rawlings guy and, and i love my traditional rawlings so i see this and you know at first, it's like, I'm not overly excited about it because it doesn't look like a baseball glove. But then I start looking at the details. I'm like, wait, time out. This is really, really cool. And then you put it on and you're like, wow. You know, it, it blows your mind. You know, so I'm, it's hard. You know, so I want to break in this glove and, and actually see what kind of feel it gets. But... On the cool factor from 1 to 10, this is an 11, you know. Nick, I wait till you see the customizing. You can customize it. What they're doing with it is sick. No, but you see, this right here, I mean, this is genius. And that goes, yeah, and that goes to your wrist. So. But, but, but that, that's genius. Yeah. I mean, the, the biggest issue that I get, first of all, this contraption right here that, that shows you you get to move it over and whatnot, it seems simple. Have a normal person try and do that right there. Have a normal person... Try and make the glove smaller or bigger. First of all, you're not gonna get it right. Second of all, it takes forever. This system right here, like holy crap, really <laughs> baseball world, it took you guys 120 years to get this one right. Amazing, amazing, awesome, 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 awesome. I love it. So make infield glove, that's a 11 and a half, right? It's, it's an 11 and a half. It looks like it's gonna play on the small side. So, 
not all glove sizes are created equally. For the most part, Rawlings is very true to size. This 11 and a half plays on the smaller side. So if you like to use an 11 and a, and a, and a quarter glove, you know, take a look at an 11 and a half first. If you like 11 and a half, like, ah, this might play a little bit smaller than traditionally. So you go up to the 11 and three quarters. It doesn't change anything. It's just how the glove plays. Um, again, man, I am really shocked on, on the, on the cool factor of this one. And the feel, like it's, it's money. It's hard, but it, it's money. They, they, they did not mess up when this came out of the, out of the mold. First thing now as a, as, as a, as a, as a father of a kid that would use that glove, because getting into high school now as an eighth grader, what do you see in that, man? You're a traditionalist and you're like, dude. He's gonna like it because it's super cool. Like, well, what what attracts you to buy that glove? For your kid? Everyone wants to be ahead of the game, you know. And uh, and this is this is being ahead of the game. I'm telling you right now, you know, I've broken in hundreds of gloves. Uh, this is not shy away as far as feel and weight and comfort to any glove. And again, it's it's ahead of the time. It's it's ahead of the game. You know, so I, I definitely would look into this glove. I'm a traditionalist, but but it's too cool not to to give it a shot. So so we're gonna break in this incredible glove, the Rev One. I've never done this kind of glove before, but the fact that it's a Rawlings, the fact that it's part of the hide, I have all the confidence in the world. You know, the back being a synthetic, you know, leather doesn't you know it doesn't scare me at all. It just gives the, the glove more protection, but uh, but I'm excited to see how quickly it goes. This glove comes firm and has a thousand cool um, things to it that you can read about as far as technology is concerned, but it does come on the firm side, which to me is a sign of durability, you know, but we still gotta break it in to be able to play. All right, so because we're breaking the gloves here at the locks, we have the shower on, the water's pretty hot in there, if I was at home, I'd put my faucet hot and I'd get a cup, fill it up with water and just go pouring it all over the glove. And I usually don't stop until I see the glove, the leather part, change colors. It just darkens a little bit. And again, the reason for the water is to be able to manipulate the glove. You get a glove out of factory that already has its mold, you're not gonna be able to break that mold. You're stuck with that mold. Okay, so the water kind of gives us a clean, empty canvas to work with. So the process should take me about 15 seconds. See how the glove is changing colors there? How you have the dark patch. I probably won't stop until the whole glove is dark. a little bit more on these fingers in there. I'm gonna wet the inside a little bit. I don't turn it upside down, I just wet the inside a little bit because I do want to break this in. That's good. The well, first thing I did with this glove was I turned it inside out, wanting to stretch the fibers in, inside the binding of it to create a little bit of more movement on it, right? So again, I'm not shaping my glove inside out, but by doing this, the binding stretches out. <clears throat> I get to manipulate it a little bit. All I'm doing is causing friction by going up and down, up and down, squeezing together, really trying to stretch those fibers out. It's nice and stretched. Now I'm gonna turn it back over. Now before I do anything, before I get into the shaping part of it, I'm gonna to continue to rub it up and down, causing that friction so I can break these hinges right in here. 
These hinges is what makes the glove open and close. So I want to loosen up those hinges. Okay, I'm comfortable now with where the, the binding is and where the hinges are at. I'm really comfortable with that. I love deep pocket gloves. You know, back in the days, they'd say, you don't want a deep pocket, you don't want the ball getting stuck in there. Where the game has gone to, and everybody using the one hands, I mean, they're even instructing infielders, forget outfielders, even the infielders, to catch with one hand. So you want a comfortable pocket. You want the ball to get in there. So my next step is to start working on the pocket. I'm gonna use my customized mallet. You can use any mallet, but regular mallet's fine. But since I break in so many gloves, I made one out of, out of iron so I can pound it into the ground and it did not break. Hey, comment below if you think, if you wanna buy Nick's custom mallet, <laughs> comment below if this guy should start making these mallets. All right, so. I'm not looking forward to that project, but <laughs> we'll do anything to help out the people out there. So I'm gonna put the glove in my hand. And I'm gonna identify where the pocket should be, All right? I feel comfortable the pocket should be right about there. Nick, so, for a parent that doesn't know, doesn't have your expertise, what should they do with that pocket? Where would you so, put it? So it, it all depends how your kid wears the glove or how you as a player wear your glove. Do you go traditional and slide every finger into the glove and pop the, the index finger out? Or do you put two fingers off to the, to the left side of the glove, which is a very common practice now? So I'm a traditionalist, so I put my glove normal and I try and create the pocket right in here. I call it the U. That's where you want to catch the ball, inside the U. So when I put on my glove, my U is right, let me take this out a little bit. My U is right in here, right? It's an infield glove, you know, but that's where I'm gonna to want to catch my balls, especially on this glove. So once I get it in there, turn my mallet over, right? Okay, I'm gonna hold the, the mallet as if it was a ball in there, squeeze the baseball so I have a nice pouch right there for the baseball and I'm gonna just start gently pounding it into the ground. Again, since the leather's wet, it's gonna stretch. If the leather wasn't wet, it's not gonna stretch much. But since it's wet, and, and I say wet, it's it barely damp. It's already dry here in my hand. So I'm gonna continue the process until I see the bubble protruding I'm gonna continue this process until I see my, until I see a bubble forming until I see myself creating that nice round shape not bad it's still kind of flat here I want to exaggerate this because the glove is going to want to go back to its regular form. So I really want to exaggerate this. Oh, I feel good there. Okay. So now I have this shape on the glove. Okay. You see this bump right in here. That's a pocket. And I want to hold that shape. Right now I'm squeezing it with my hands. So the trick that we use down here, which is not a necessity, but it's a luxury we can get away with is, I'm gonna put it in the windshield of the car now so it can hold that shape and the heat of the car dries it that quick, right? Now, we got a lot of comments, you know, we live up where it's cold and whatnot. You can still pinch it in the car. It's still gonna dry up, you know, just not as fast as in Miami. So just like this, we're gonna put the glove inside the windshield of the car. We're, we're actually not gonna use my car because my car's windshield is being taken up by a Rawlings right now. <laughs> I do about three to four of these gloves a day, so you know we're gonna use my boy's car here, Coach HP. <laughs> Shout out to my man, best in the biz. 
Okay, so on the walk over here, I took the matted out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the process again. Again, my mallet, my custom mallet, won't break on the asphalt, so. Nick, a question I get asked a lot. People ask me, should they do it twice? What do you as think? As many times as you want. The whole process? Uh, you're not gonna need to. Okay. You know, in a rare situation, a catcher's mid, maybe something like that, you might want to, but there's no need to. So a lot of people ask if you should do the process twice. You could, I'm that confident that nothing's gonna happen to the glove, but once it dries out tomorrow and you, play, and you put it on for the first time, it's gonna feel slightly firm because it's just dried up in this new mold right it's in the new shape but all the fibers inside are going to be broken up so just by putting it on and smacking it on the thigh a few times that glove's going to be ready to go so don't be scared when you get it out and you put it on you're like wow my glove is hard it's not hard it's stiff all the fibers inside the, the bindings are loose and ready to go all you have to do is put it on, just hit it in the car as, as you drive on your thigh until you're ready to go. Let's create this pocket again and put it to dry. Again, guys, this glove's already dry. I mean, the water did not do anything to this glove, except it gave me the ability to manipulate the leather a little bit. I'm gonna pinch it just like that in the windshield of the car. Actually, I'm gonna change mallets really quick because I need that mallet. So I replaced it with another mallet, same thing, Rollins mallet, here we go. Now when I pinch it, I make sure that it's holding that, that bubble that I created. That's it. I'm ready to play. What do you think, Nick? So I say 24 hours, but here in Miami, by three o'clock in the afternoon, right now it's, what time, coach? Right now it's 10.43. This club is ready to go by 3.30 this afternoon. The best to ever you do know. it, man. Let's do it. Thank you, you waited all the way with the video. This is for you, comment below, subscribe, DM me on Instagram, DM me at Coach HP. You want this glove, we're gonna give away this glove right here. This is actually what I'm pointing down because I have the computer here. We're gonna give it away. Thank you for staying the whole video. You gotta comment, you gotta subscribe. Let's go. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.